Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to today's talk video. I'm telling you, I'm like on this, like this is the kind of video I wanna be doing right now. It's just a lot easier for me just <laughs> to sit down, talk, ramble, spill my guts, talk shit, and then edit this, and then it's fine. I don't have to worry about vlogs and other things right now. So it's, it's working for me. I'm gonna do what's working for me. Hi, <laughs> how's everybody doing today? I'm good, I think. It's a sunny Monday morning, it's a new week. It is a great opportunity to tell ourselves that everything's gonna be fine. It's a new day, it's a new start, new beginning. So be it. Though I'm still struggling a little bit, but it's fine. I think I, I need, just need to get out of my head. It's, I know it's about mindset. I'm always told mindset. I just wanna tell people to screw off when they tell me that. If I'm not ready to move on yet, I'm not gonna be ready to move on. Don't tell me to move on. <laughs> Ugh. I just know what my life needs. I'm not, I'm not getting it, so. Drinking get my coffee, my second cup of coffee, mind you. My Myrtle Beach mug. I need to go back to Myrtle Beach. I haven't been there in a while. Um, I think I only went once or twice this year, but um, I'm talking about like a retreat. Like I need to go just me, myself and I, and um, have a great time. You know, I was watching my retreat video the other day and it was really nice. I was just like, it was my, it was the first time, there's a lot of first, uh, kind of like, like I went on my very first retreat by myself back in 2020, pre-COVID, um, it was February, 2020. So COVID was like, it was pre-COVID. So we weren't like in the world yet of COVID, you know? Um, so I didn't, I wasn't driving yet and my dad drove me down, but I was there by, for, by myself for the week. He drove back home cause I was gonna fly. I had the money and everything was ready to go and they just felt bad for me. He drove me down because we were only like three and a half hours from the beach from where my parents' house was. Um, and I spent the week by myself. My brother came down the last day and then he drove us home. So, I mean, it was really nice. But like this trip that I took, my retreat trip, fully solo by myself, all paid me, all like all the expenses were paid by me. It felt good, you know, like to pay for our own trips. Um drive yourself and just like you know live the best life i only went for three days it was like two and a half days like i drove down the night after work had a whole new year's eve and then like half of new year's day i was at the beach and then i drove home at night so it was very nice um i got there and i was just like all in my little extra world you know i was like oh my god like i get very excited like extra excited about everything and it's stupid but it's fine it's just how i am and I was like, oh, this is me. This, oh, love it. I'm dancing to music. I'm drinking. I'm getting a little tipsy. I'm just walking on the beach. It's just that feeling of being free, doing what you want. I was kind of single at the time, but not really single at the time. But I was just like not really reporting to anybody. I just, guys, when I tell you I'm like probably unhealthy, overly like love being by myself and like alone and single, like. It was like the first time that I was like, this is gonna be it. Like, this is my life. Yes, like I was so excited for it. Cause like I had said in my other videos, I've been with somebody for so long, all my twenties. It was just nice to be by myself, not have to report to anybody, not to think about feelings and emotions and people's, oh my God. And like, you know, what are you doing? You know, well, I mean, I kind of did, but anyway. Um, but it was just like, I could do what I want, when I want, how I want, go out, do, like, do what I please. Like, it was just such a freeing feeling, you know? It was nice. It was very nice. Um, so I, I like blasted music the entire time. I was shopping a little bit, just going out to lunch, you know, just doing me, walking around at my own pace, just like enjoying the things, you know. So it was it was a fun time. So I definitely need another one of those. I want a mountain retreat. It's my next my next retreat by myself. I would love for it to be a mountain retreat. But I don't know when that's gonna be because life is complicated right now and I have no money. So I just want a simple life, guys. That's really all I want. I'm starting to realize that this life that I'm living is not for me. Like this fast life, this city life. Uh, I'm starting to, I'm like, I've been second guessing it a lot. And I'm like, if it was just me, I'd be out of here by now. Like see what I can do about this, this place. <laughs> if it was just me, I would see my options and get out of here. Like I would, I would either move to the beach, the mountains, just get away from here. And just focus on my journey, my healing, because you know, I feel like it's very hard to focus on yourself when you're with somebody because 
I mean, I get it. Of course, you want to like, you need to talk to them. And you need to like fill them in. They're here to help you too. But I don't want their help. I'm just like, I'm fully invested on me. But I understand I can't leave like, you know, the relationship in the dark, which I've done. I'm the whole hoopla. But at the same time, I really don't care. At the same time, like, I'm sorry. I can't just be like, my feelings went out the door a long time ago about a lot of things. <laughs> I've had to mold myself a lot in the years. So while I'm still like this little bubbly person, I'm still like very like armed, armed and guarded. Fun, fun times, guys, fun times. Do you like my hair? It's like actually really good today, kind of. Just when I keep saying like, oh, I'm done with my little poof, poof keeps coming back. <laughs> I want to shave it. Like, I feel like that's what I'm going to do. Like, eventually I want to just shave it and see how it works and just hope for the best. <laughs> uh, the holidays are approaching. It's like officially here because, you know, in retail, everything's already like Christmas. You know, I, I walk by Macy's and all the trees are up. It looks like New York City. Love it. JC Penny, Dillard's, Macy's, Belks, like everything is like trees and glistening. I'm like, oh my god, I love it, you know. And it's so funny, like when you're in warmer climates. At least where I live now, I'm like an hour and a half away from my parents' house. There's a slight difference in the temperature, like warmer wise. It's a little bit warmer. So it's like 84 today, and I'm seeing Christmas trees. I'm like, oh my god, this is interesting. I miss like the old days. Like I really miss like the old Christmases. I see these TikToks now. That's my new algorithm is like the TikToks that show Christmas from the 90s or 2000s. And you know, like the pictures are very like grainy, but nostalgic. And it just really hurts my heart to see because I know we'll never go back to that. And I'm just like, oh my God, like what a time. You know, you see the kids in the school with their little crafts and the little chorus Christmas performances that we did, like I would do. And it was just like, it was just such a fun, simple time. My parents would always, we weren't like rich, you know, we were comfortable, I would say, growing up-ish. My parents, my parents knew their priorities when it came to us. I, I say that as in like, we were very sheltered, but they wanted us to have a good life, a good childhood. You know, I feel like it's always every parent's goal with kids, if you're a good parent, they want your life to be better than how theirs was. So it's like they'll do anything for their kids. And I think that's what my parents always strive for. And like, we're very close, very family oriented family. And um, we don't always see each other all the time, but like the love is always there. Like we can pick up the phone and just pick right back up, you know? So my parents always made sure like holidays were like, were amazing for us. They always made sure we were able to take some trips. They just, it was never like, I'm gonna buy you what I want. It was never like that, but it was very like, we were just raised good, you know? I was hyper growing up, but like sheltered, you know? <laughs> but like, we knew, we knew better. We knew our rights from wrongs. We knew our manners. We knew like to treat everybody with love and respect. Like there was so much love in the home. <laughs> um, of course, you know, parents yell at you too when you're kids. So, you know, <laughs> they were very verbal, I will say that, but it's fine. That's where I get my verbalness from. <laughs> but, you know, Christmas was always my favorite time. You know, Christmas was always my favorite time. It was just like the time where, you know, the tree, like half the living room was just covered in toys. Like this whole sunroom now, you wouldn't be able to see the sunroom. Like there were so many toys piled up. Like it was like amazing. I mean, Oh my God, it was such a good time. You know, I remember the tree with like the tinsel all over it and my mom hated the tinsel because it would make a mess. Such a fun time and you know. I still remember some of my stuff that I got though. It was like I got the Reptar wagon. It was like a little one, not like one you could actually ride, but I did get a Jeep when I was like a, a riding Jeep when I was a kid. I got a life-size uh, Squirtle I, one year. Um, it might have been the same year as the Jeep actually. I got my Reptar wagon that you opened it up and there was toys and coloring things like, Rugrats was like my shit back then and Pokemon like it was all Pokemon too It was always fun, you know <laughs> It was always fun. I always got more gifts then because I was easier to buy stuff for I, I will like anything like buy me a pack of pencils. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you know So now I'm in the day and age where the, we're as when as adults we get excited for socks and an air fryer and you know money <laughs> Buy me a coffee cup and I'm like, oh my god, how cute, you know, it's so funny Life was, in general, was just so much better back then, you know, before life gets a hold of you. And I, um, 
I, I've been seeing a lot of that and I made that I said that in my last talk video like my algorithm at the time of TikTok was very like missing the old you missing life how it was and I made a TikTok back then and I, I made a TikTok about it where my own version of that where it's like you miss the old you before life got a hold of you and it's so true when your kids as kids um it is we don't know anything so it is really up to the parents to parent and like protect their kids and like show them what love and respect and show them what this world's about you know before the world does and you know i i see it every day you clearly see these people acting a damn fool showing their ass and i'm like okay life clearly got a hold of them before their parents could but then it goes all back to how the parenting is and how, where parents come from and how, so me personally because i try not to judge people like i see these kids today and i'm like oh my god like I'm, I'm scared for our like future because i am now that person who looks at kids and i'm like annoyed i'm like oh my god was that me like i was that person but i also had some common sense you know i would you know life was just so good back then where it's like before life got a hold of you right like especially me coming from a sheltered background i was very sheltered growing up and it was always i couldn't go out i couldn't it wasn't like i couldn't go out of the house you know but i could have to stay within the property i couldn't like hang out with friends and i I feel like that did it has its, it had its pros and cons you know i think i lacked a lot of social skills being sheltered because i wasn't around kids so when i finally was around kids and stuff i didn't know how to act or i was just very quiet to myself and i do like you know and then when i would talk and like fine like you but you know it's awkward you know when you just like don't talk to people you're like you're shy and you know stage fright about everything and I, I, I still have that today in a way. Like, even though I'm like this, oh my God, you know, it's like I'm more like this by myself. But when I get out in public, I'm like a different person because I don't want to like be a fool. You know, I'm up against the world that could like take me out like that, you know? So I got to like watch myself. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that where they're like, they get in that mindset. I mean, I get it. Be yourself. Don't like change who you are to be socially acceptable. But I feel like there are things you need to like to an extent in a way there are something like you need to like have some sense like don't be walking out of the house like you're gonna just fight every single person who looks at you a certain way like you can't just you can't be that person like, oh my god girl, yeah, don't look at me haters oh my god like, you know and i used to be that person but i also had common sense like i knew not to be that person when i walked out of the house like i'm gonna present myself like you know i was still like very like mature i was very like you know not paying people any mind if they were gonna they wanted that ammo. They wanted me to say something because, you know, when they talk to you in school and stuff, you got to get that out of you and, you know, you don't want to... Anyway, it's the whole thing. But even then, like, life was simple. Like, what responsibilities? Like, life shit now? Like, life not... Like, not, anything we gone, went through back in the day and nothing what life's doing now to us and just, like, tearing us all apart and making us all question our sanity. But life was just so good back then, you know? And it's, like, 10 years ago. Like, what a difference even 10 years makes like 10 years ago today, what was I doing? Oh my God, I was at one of our old houses and I had my basement bedroom um, and it was my favorite. That was my favorite house so far that I've been in, that I've lived at. And I had the whole basement to myself and I always wanted to make sure my bedroom was not a bedroom, that it was like set up like a house. If you've known me, if you've watched my videos, my room tours, you knew I always had like, I never had a bed really. I had a couch, that's where I slept. I had my coffee table, area rug. I had a kitchen table in the corner. A lot of it was my grandma's furniture when she had passed. We I got a lot of the furniture as well, which helped. But even that, you know, I think that was the first room where I, that might have been what started my want to have a house. Like I was just that person, I'm very homey like that and at the time you know I was that homebody you know especially when you don't drive you don't do anything you don't see many people like you are you are you are at fixed on the home so I made sure to always make my home very nice and I was very cozy even like even though like my styles would change a lot and looking back at some of it now like it looked kind of random ish in some spots it was just who I was at the time what I liked what I had but I made sure the overall flow was there. Like you could walk around. I hate things in corners. I hate every inch of wall being like taken up by something. 
and I try not to judge, but I judge the hell out of people when they post pictures nowadays, selfies, they're in the bathroom, the kitchen sinks full of shit. Like, I don't need to see a toothpaste, your mouthwash, a toothbrush, your towels, all like, you know, I don't need to see you posing a picture in your bedroom and you got shit all over your floors, your dressers are dirty. I'm like, I just, I'm not that person. And I'm just like, ew. <laughs> I've just always been that clean, neat person where I can never have shit all over the place like that. And if I was gonna take a picture, I'm gonna move it all out of the way anyway. Like if I've done that before, like if I'm in the middle of cleaning and doing things and I know shit's out everywhere and I'm like, I wanna take a picture cause I feel, I'm feeling it in the moment. I'm gonna shove everything out of the way. Like, oh, look at me, my clean house. Oh God. But it was very good. I had my own bathroom downstairs and I made sure that was very nice. I had my little closet. It was such a good, like that was my prime time. Like, that was my prime time where I felt my best. I had just met my first relationship. So best time of my life. I was in my prime on YouTube. Like my videos were like, like, and I guess it's how YouTube was and the culture at the time. Like I was, I was in my skit era. I was doing all my skits. I was doing Omegle. I was doing like my little reality show, fake reality show, like skit and my vlog. Like everything was just so good at the time. I was like in a real feminine era too. So it was like, I just felt like my shit didn't stink. It was such a fun time. I was 19 years old. And then like into 2014, the absolute best year of my life for my sentimental reasons. A lot like the music was just good. I met my first boyfriend and it was absolutely like the dream come true that I never thought I wanted, that I wanted ever since the day I met him. So, you know, it was really good. And where I lived, just like my job was so simple. I didn't have many bills. You know, I was just, you know, oh, I was getting my first credit card. I was like, oh, it was so good. I was working at my first job, which was the grocery store. <clears throat> And I was working in the bakery department and it was just so good, you know, I, like I just smile because it's just like life was so good. And it's like life really did not get a hold of me yet until, you know, later on. So I'm like, oh, why can't I just go back? I would do everything in the world to go back to that, you know, and just going you know we would go to my um i need my current boyfriend to not listen to this part i would go we would be at my first book my ex uh his mom's house and we would um it was very simple we didn't do much you know it was just very like but that was like the time right we just didn't do much you know our jobs weren't really full-time jobs in a way, you know, we would, you know, work a couple days a week, we make enough to survive. And it wasn't all about the money at the time. I wasn't really materialistic at the time. I'd really humbled myself down, you know, and in that sense, and we would just go to his house, mom's house, and he lived there and it would just be so fun. We would just like, he lived, he lives in like this um, small town. Um, very cute little town and we would just ride around go to the park walk around the lake We'd go to Kmart and just you know <laughs> And you know his mom would get off work and we would just you know have dinner right and just sit on the couch and watch You know the local channel, Like it was just so fun Like you know, I look back and I'm like wow, and I didn't appreciate it much at the time I did but you know You appreciate it more now when it's gone. Unfortunately, you appreciate more of the things even more when they're gone and it's not that so you know, of course I miss that. I miss so much. I miss life back then. I miss who I was back then, like I, before life got a hold, you know? So definitely is a challenge right now because I look at myself and I don't know who I am anymore. I look myself in the mirror and it's like, how can I get back to that? How can I fix myself? Like, how can I get this mindset to like change and churn? And you know, how can I get myself to, uh, form up the courage and strength to be like i've had enough like this is i'm gonna change my life now because if i could i'd rearrange the whole my whole life right now i'd be like done by like if i honestly am there's been conversation in the last few days and i'm just like ugh, and i'm just i've had enough <laughs> but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do but um we're going out of town in a few weeks which will be nice and that's another thing that's like kind of like weighing on my mind is like every time life sucks in a way we look forward to getting out of town i try not to be that person to be excited to get out of town because it's an escape from our life and our reality we should be going out of town to relax to celebrate or just you know just not, for me at least like if 
I'm just saying. I, I wish I could travel more by myself, honestly. Like, I need more of that retreat, that, that trip for myself. Maybe because I'm just not happy. If I was in a happy spot in my life and I didn't feel the need to want to be alone so much, maybe I'd be fine. Like, because that's how it was back in the day. Me and my ex never had this issue. I wasn't this person that needed my alone time so much. Maybe just because things were different back then. And that was never our issue. We never had that issue because I guess also a big thing was because we never lived together until the final year of our, rela our relationship at the time. And uh, we lived like almost an hour apart from each other. We saw each other all the time. You know, we made the efforts to see each other. And but we were going home to our separate homes. And I think that's what was really nice. So I had my alone time. And it was just, that was never an issue with me where our, my current relationship, you know, he had moved in with me after like a month or two. And looking back at it now, I probably would have not had done that. Had I had my shit together and had more money, I'd have been like, no, you know, and because I don't believe in, you know, people moving in together if they don't have their shit together and I don't have money to go, you know, so it's like. I feel very strong on that, but it's not a conversation I push because it will turn into an issue. So I keep my mouth shut a lot of the times um, because I will get nasty. I will get nasty. I get very nasty when I when I've had enough shit. I'm learning. <laughs> I've always known, but I'm learning my voice a lot more and I will like and I never feel bad about it. I honestly don't ever feel bad. And that's where the douche douche in me comes out my toxicness my traits or whatever you call it like I never feel bad about what I say because it's part of the truth you know like if you're being a ass you're being a freaking ass you know I'm not gonna be like oh, I, mean, I just said that because I was mad clearly you're an ass for me to even say in the first place you know we say things out of anger but it's always the truth you know um anyways well, guys, I guess that's it. I don't know what else to say because it's going to turn into more shit talking. <laughs> but, you know, hope you guys enjoyed this little talk video. I don't know if there was much substance of this video. Normally, I like to have my topics. Today, it was just more of a we're sitting down. We're having conversation. <laughs> I mean, I feel like these videos could be soothing for somebody. If they, I feel like I made the kind of content that is boring but like it's filler con i don't know like if you're bored you don't know what to watch like turn me on like just listen to me talk we'll have a conversation i guess i should be live but i don't i don't have enough followers for like making lives or anything like that but um my content's not that worthy i guess enough for follows but whoever watches me thanks because i get i have viewers but i don't know who's watching me nobody comments i don't know really who's watching me or what but Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Even though I am like batshit crazy these days. I know it. I know it. I'm hopeful one day I'll get back to like humbling and balancing myself out and just really living healthy and like being in a good state of mind, being around the great, the being around the best people for me, being around the best environments for me, being back to who I was and just, you know, one day at a time, it's really all I can do. And there's nothing I can do right now. So I just try to stay positive and optimistic that one day the life that I'm dreaming of right now can come into reality because I know exactly what I want. So we'll see. Stay positive because, you know, anything that's meant to be will be and it will make its way. You can't prevent it from happening because the, the universe will make its moves whether you want it to or not, and the way you feel is the universe talking. You can't say, mm -mm, let's, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. And then when you start to feel anything differently, that's the universe speaking for you. Like, where do you think you get your feelings from? This universe is making you feel that way because of the life and the experience. <laughs> anyway, guys, bye. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.